nayimenye kubera best family Joamela hashize imyaka itatu sinibuko munsi nitari cyariko bari bavuze ngo haraza abaganga bamenye icyamenye abiri cyane cyane ibyandire nte kibazo cyane bwari bwo bwa mbere na na ibirwa ramenyo ntabwo byaje bitambabaza nkiri na mutoya ntabwo nari ziko nari ziko girizavamo bekegerejeho giye nari ziko kugira ngo bimpa mahoro nyine ntazarwara kase ariko numvaga abantu babimbira bazarivanamo eh batarivana muri kafu mageze bambwira ko kuri vana matari byiza ngo ntarindi nzabona byo gushyiramo hanyuma babimbiye ko atari byiza kuri vanamo arambira ngo arubundi buryo bagiye kuri kora bazana ibintu bari homesha arabanza banyeza mu kanwa bazana ibyo bahomesha barahoma nyine birabagora ariko barari homa rimwe neza ari niri ndi hano uko ritagaragara barabira ende ndumva ndumvise meze neza cyane nseka nishimye numvise rwose muri gewe mfite morale nseka iri hakagaragara mu kanwa na ubundi nagiraga gutya On any given day during our summer mission trip, there are people lined up early in the morning to seek our care. Um, and unfortunately, almost every time, we have to turn people away at the end of the day. And I think it was 2018 when Theo came to our clinic to seek help. And so we sat him down and I asked him how we can help him. And he pointed to his front tooth that was badly broken and discolored. And so I quickly assessed him to see how we can help him that day. And he was a young man. He wasn't in any uh, pain, no active infection. And so with so many people waiting outside, um, I was about to tell him that uh, I was not able to help him that day because there's just too many people with more severe and urgent problems. Then I heard a small, quiet whisper uh, from God and he instructed me to see Theo. And so I looked him in the eye that moment and I told him, Theo, I'm gonna take care of you because Jesus loves you. So after the treatment, I got him up and um, I asked him how I can pray for him. And he shared with me about his uh, prayer requests. And so we spent a few um, minutes uh, praying together and uh, Lita actually joined us as we were praying and just as uh, we were ready to uh, I was ready to send him back home um, Lita just kind of stopped me and asked me hey Tom it's like what are you doing so I sensed in my spirit that Theo was really ready um, and open to receive Jesus so I told Tom we need to share the gospel with him I pulled Theo aside and I started sharing with him how much God loves him and he cares for him and he wants to give him the gift of eternal life. I then asked him um, if he wants to receive that gift and he said yes. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I stopped taking I stopped taking drugs, smoking. I also before I could earn some money and waste it, put it in drugs and alcohol, but now I can save to my own. We want to thank every single one of our supporters and partners uh, for being part of the Theo's story and many others like him. Together we're making an eternal impact. Actually, it was in the summer of 2017 when I met Dr. Thomas at the university in the School of Dentistry, University of Rwanda. He came visiting the school. It was in one of his summer missions in Rwanda. Now it is like two weeks practicing at Nyamata District Hospital. In my two weeks experience, uh, I had a case of a young a boy of seven years old who, were, who was having a serious infection which was originating from a tooth, a toothache and the kid was uh, severely ill and if I wasn't there, the kid would have uh, been referred to Kigali where he should have been waiting for a day to meet the, a doctor. The carrier's tooth, which caused an infection and led to a swelling. The case should have been severe. Uh, didn't give it to a brain infection. But I was there to help the, the, the kid. If I wasn't there, the kid would be transferred to Kigali, where the uh, trained dentist to help the kid. But with the help of his hands on Africa, Nyamata uh, was one of the, the hospitals who uh, had dental surgeons. And now I am one uh, dental surgeon at Nyamata who is helping the community there. When I say Kigali, Kigali is the capital of our country, uh, Rwanda. And then they are, uh, as a capital of the country, they are the hospitals there, they have uh, more equipment compared to the hospitals in the rural areas. So if there is uh, a problem of equipment to the hospitals in the rural areas, and when the patient need to be helped, and the rural hospitals, they cannot help, they refer the patient to Kigali, where there are hospitals with the equipment and the trained uh, doctors. So if the patient is coming to a rural hospital where they cannot help, they refer them to Kigali. That's why his hands on Africa like, is bringing like a decentralization of a dental care. If the dental care was being uh, provided in uh, Kigali where they are trained the dentists, now his hands on Africa is trying to train the dentists uh, who are be going to practice in the rural areas where his hands on Africa will be going to provide the equipment which are needed there and there's training the dentists they will be practicing there so the people in the rural areas who uh, before his hands on Africa needed to travel to Kigali for dental care will be treated in those rural areas because they will be having trained dentists with the necessary equipment I would like to encourage everyone to join to partner with Zanzibar Africa to bless the people of